Now you are the king of the Giro, you know, the sprinter in Giro for now. Yeah, I hope that we can continue like this. I think the shape is good. We showed it yesterday. We showed it in the first stage. We showed it now. And I think we did a perfect job before. And now also the team is doing the perfect job for me. They trust me to 10,000% and they do an, an amazing job for me. And I think it's the team is getting stronger and stronger from day to day. Tell us what happened at the arrival from your point of view. Uh, you are the, what happened at the end? Yeah, um, I trust my lead out man like till 250 to go and then he said okay now we have to go and I just wanted to start my sprint but then there was the guy from F de Scher went out from the left to the right side and I had to break but then I saw that Gaviria is coming and I just went in a slipstream with him. The point classification is the right reason to try to arrive uh, to Verona. Yeah, for sure, it's a big dream to get the jersey to Verona, but it's still a long, long way. <coughs> I never did a Grand Tour before, and I don't know how my shape is in two or three weeks. Did you expect this impact on a Grand Tour? <coughs> I didn't expect it, but it was a dream for me to win one stage. Then my, yeah, far away, the other dream was to win three stages because I have a bet with my, <coughs> dear, uh, with my team coach with my coach and also with our team manager, Ralf Denk. And if I win three stages, they have to color the hairs. <laughs> ah. And that's my main goal, to win three stages, to see them with blonde hairs. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. <coughs>